what is going on. It's about 3 in the afternoon right now, and I'm going to be doing something I haven't done in a good amount of time. I'm going to be flipping docks with artificial shrimps. It is one of my absolutely favorite ways to catch fish and to fish in general. It's a very challenging in a sense of, you know, making accurate casts and being successful with not getting hung up. That can be challenging, but it's also a pretty easy way and an effective way to catch snook as well. And it's very fun, you know, it's just relax. And so we're going to get out, try to get out of the wind, flip some docks, and it should be a good time. I am throwing my 3,000 sustain, 15 pound braid to 30 pound fluorocarbon, throwing a 3 inch DOA shrimp. Very, very simple. Should get the job done. Got the swim bait rod rigged up as well if need be, but I think we're going to mainly primarily throw the shrimp today. Should be good though. Let's see if we can get onto the fish though. Alright, a little uh, housekeeping. Got a measuring tape that we're going to stick to the deck right here. And what do you know? What's this? I remember to bring a net this time. I, I mean, I always have had nets, and I've owned two of the rubber nets that are good for, you know, fish slime and all that for a long time. I always forget to grab them. And the real thing about it is, I've never really cared, like, whether with the measuring tape, I've never really cared about the size. It either, you know, it's always been like, oh, it's small or it's big kind of thing. Like, I've never really, like, thought about whether or not like oh that fish is 28 inches because i don't keep fish so slot size and all that doesn't really mean anything to me i don't really care and i mostly have always just set it for your guys benefit but got one on let's stick it on here and we can take measurements of bigger fish if we want to so that being said we're going to start throwing here in a moment Oh my god, are you kidding me right now? You guys, I don't think you'll believe what I just caught. <laughs> Alright, so if you guys know me, you know I've been really trying to catch a redfish lately. And uh, how funny is that? Just back in my home waters where I pretty much never ever catch redfish. I'm turn this. Back in my home waters, where I pretty much never ever catch redfish, and there you go, right there, just a little tiny redfish. <laughs> it's too funny. You know, I've traveled like the past two weeks to go try to catch some, and I catch some back at home where I never catch them ever. But he's a beautiful little fish. We're gonna release him. That is a 14 inch redfish right there. Too, too crazy, man. Seems about right. I've been putting in a ton of time. Not a ton of time, but I've been putting in time trying to catch a redfish. And I come back home where I never ever catch them and catch one. It's a classic. Oh god. Second I landed, I just got cranked, man. Ooh, look at that. All right, little squeaker jack. <laughs> wow, there's like a bunch of little juvenile snooks around on this thing. Hold on a second, let me bust the net out. Fish number three, right there, it's a little baby snook, but that's a redfish, it's a snook and a jack. We definitely got some good diversity going. Hopefully we can catch a bigger snook and maybe even a bigger redfish, man, that would be really cool. I doubt that'll happen, but I think we can definitely get a bigger snook. Right, the bite on the uh, shrimp has really, really slowed down for me. 
I pretty much caught all three of my fish in the first 10 minutes of throwing and then it's been complete silence for about an hour now and it's just been non-stop boat traffic and I have not gotten a bit not gotten bit since the boat traffic started so I'm gonna try something different here throw a moving bait I'm gonna be throwing just a live target swimming mullet right there on the uh, Calcutta and just ripping it by the dock pile and see if a big one will come out and smack it for me I just want to do something a little different because the shrimp bite tanked hard all right, starting to close out the night. Sun's just about to go down. Probably got like 30 more minutes of light, but I'm gonna tie top water on my uh, sustained, and I'm gonna keep throwing that live target swim bait on my Calcutta. I think it'll happen, man. I'm just really holding on because it was an okay day. You know, it started off really, really quick. I caught a redfish and a snook and a jack, and now it's really slowed down. But hopefully, we can get on some fish because the boat traffic has finally stopped. People aren't running around nonstop anymore. So maybe we can get on a bite real quick before the sun goes down. Ooh. You can get it. And the snook too. Come on. Just eat it, dude. On. Or if it's a little, little jack, maybe. Oh, what do I got here? A double up. <laughs> I used to be like amazed by this, but this is probably about the ninth or tenth time that I've had this happen. That is a uh, two little jack revolves on one swing right there. All right, well, that's always interesting, I guess. It literally amazes me, honestly, the aggression of Jack Revolves. They are just ridiculous, ridiculous fish. Where even the little ones, like, I mean, the bait I'm throwing, let alone, that's only a bait that's maybe two inches smaller than those Jack I just caught. And that one has in its mouth and the other is trying to steal it out of his mouth and I'm able to hook up with both. It's just crazy, honestly. They're so aggressive. Losing light, but I'm trying to squeak out one more. Oh, <laughs> what do I got? Oh my gosh, a micro snook. That's pretty funny, though. It's like a little micro fat snook, I do believe. Oh gosh! All right, well, quick release on that guy right there. I was gonna grab the net, but he's so small I really didn't care. Almost flung that spook right back in my head though. All right, time to call it. It has been a fun day, I would say. Just all fun sized fish, really. I'm very surprised to catch a redfish. That was very cool, and it's just so, I don't know, it's ironic even the right word where I've been trying to catch a redfish for the past like two weeks, wanting to go target them and going to different locations to target them. I end up catching them back in my home body of water where I rarely ever, ever catch redfish. And I, I guess that's just how it goes sometimes. It, it is what it is. That's just really funny, I think. Um, two snook, well, landed one snook and had one sling of top water back in my head. And then a double up on, a double up on jacks. I, I already talked about it earlier. They're just so aggressive. It's ridiculous. It was a fun day. It was. It's nice to be getting back to my roots, essentially. And this is what I do a lot of stuff of flipping and pitching docks and throwing some top waters. Today was a classic Lawson day. <laughs> um, but today was fun. It was really fun. I appreciate you guys very much, and I'm very happy to be on the salt again. But I do want to do some bass fishing soon. As much as you guys hate that, I love bass fishing. But we're on the salt for now. I appreciate you guys. Thank you. See you next time.